Hello lovely viewers, welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Tessie Graphics here. If you are new to my channel, kindly make sure you hit on the subscribe button. If you are old too, thanks for staying around. So in today's video, I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step procedures used in creating a social media flyer for a restaurant with Photoshop. And this is coming up. <music> Right, so we are here in Photoshop, so we head over to file and create new. Then our size are good to use an 8 by 8 inch here. So for the name, uh, let me use the name of the restaurant. So um, this is one of my random picks I usually do in my Instagram Explore. So I went to my Instagram Explore and I saw a picture of the app product and decided to do a flyer for the Yeah, so then the name, next stock is a, yeah. So what we are going to do is we're going to create a gradient background. That is what we are going to use. I'm going to hair back to make it spinzy for I select on colors. So I'll use this one over here. That this this one to or rough. Yeah. So we're going to have something like this. So I just have to change it to radio and then I'm good to go. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to create a rectangle. So I'll hit on the tools. Yeah, bearing. I'll create a rectangle around this area. Then I'm going to change these settings over here. I'm going to make this 200 pixels. Then this one to 200 pixels. I just need a rounded border for the top side. So I hit on Ctrl E, then send that to make it more aligned. Unless I forget, I need to turn on my guide. So the new guide, I'm using the margins 100 pixels for all three. Yes. So now we're good. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to bring in a background. Yes. I'm going to bring in this background, but I'm not going to fix it to the whole work I'm just going to fix it to the rectangle so I'll right click then hit on create clipping marks to clip it into my work then change your past to 45 and also all right it looks great so we'll keep it like this we'll come back to him so we'll bring in our next background which is this PNG Yes, don't worry, I'm going to leave all the files used, specifically not all, for the app pictures I can't leave it because I don't have full copyright claims of words, but the free ones I would leave it in the description so you can have access to it. The uh, place is right over here. Yes, so, I run the skill that one. Yes, so, good. Let's come in. So, our rectangle. Right. So what we are going to do next is we are going to bring him a logo. Please note this is not the official logo. As I said, it's a random work, so I made the logo up. This is not our official logo. This. So I don't want to use the color black. So I'm going to head over to this place. I hit a color overlay. Then I'll change it to white. Actually, I, I have it to white for it. But if you want to change this, hit on this one. And change it to the precise color I want. So I want white. Yeah. Then hit on okay. Then hit on Control A. Then center. Okay. So it's already centered. All right. So what we are going to do is you head over to our polygon tree. Then make a selection and then make sure our sizes is that six. So I'm going to draw over here. So I'm holding Shift so that I have this shit. Yes. So I'll back to my move to then. Hit on Ctrl G, then move it to this side. It's too big, I think. The space is too much. So afterwards, I just hit on Ctrl to select both. Then hit on Ctrl G again to make a duplicate of the two. Then drag it downwards here. So uh, I think it's okay. Then we hit on Ctrl G to make a copy again. Then we bring in our last red uh, sorry polygon. So we will select all and group them. Okay. 
so that we'll be able to hit on control A and center them perfectly. Then we hit on control D to deselect. My rectangle down here looks a little bit big, so I'll just kill it, run it downwards so that I will be able to scale this one up so that it's very big. Yes. Okay. I think the logo to be quite small, so let's think it's, it's a little. All right. So as we done, we go to our very first polygon and then we start bringing in our images. So let's bring in our pictures. I'll use this one first. So the procedure is going to be the same. So I just teach you how I made the first one, then speed up the reboot. So I'll just try to see and then hit on it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come to this side and create a clipping max for it. So yes. So scale it to the size I want. Make sure you don't expose the white. So I think it's okay. Hit on the next one then. We bring in the next picture we want to use. So we'll same process to scale it down. Then hit on print clipping max. Let's so bomb. Let's scale it down. So I said earlier, it's the same process. I'm just going to speed up. So we're done. So what I want to do is I want to add a stroke, but I don't want to do it individual. So I just hit on the group, come here, then hit on stroke. Then we add a white stroke to it. And we don't want the background to show in between. So sorry. Um, as we can see, the background isn't showing in between. So we're good. So what we are going to do next is we head over to our rectangle, then work over there. So I'm just going to bring in a rounded rectangle at this side. Okay, so um, just going to keep it out like this. I think it's okay. Like this is okay. So I'll change it to ingredients. I want the ingredients over here. So for the color. Let me copy for my hexa code. Yeah, lists for this. Then for this, I'm going to use Corridor. Paste. So I have both colors now. So I'm just going to change it to 51 of angle, then scaling to about 133 or yet. 133 or 144. Okay, 144 is quite so okay. So, let's keep it here and then I'll come to my properties then increase man radio of my brother to 50 yes so afterwards what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to head over to my blending options then close this option then I'm going to go forward for a stroke but this time I'll change the color to black yes I know the stroke has come very deep but that is all what you're going to do all I are going to do next is that um, wait it's we are going to change the opacity of the stroke. We are going to no white C. So we are going to keep it around like 15 or 20. And as you can see now, it looks perfect. It's not too deep though. Yeah, it looks perfect. So what I want to do now is I'm just going to add it another ruler. That is where my text is going to be. So I just want to add a ruler so I make sure they are all in line. So for this one, uh, be on the border. Okay, so I'll have to increase my ruler at this place. Then I'll go in for my text to me. And my very first text is going to be services. So copy that. Then keep paste. Okay, so for now I'm I'm going to use one font over here. That is the Nexa. But I'm going to go in for the Nexa black. Then from the font color I'm going to use this fix a code so that was 
Yes. So I'm going to change it to all caps. Yes. And then. Racy. Racy. Just the super. Let's keep it around this area for the meantime. And I'm going to do something. I'm going to draw an eclipse or a circle. Yeah, we can need it. So we like circle. We don't like eclipse. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change. I'll add no fill any. Rather add a outline. So I'll just increase it to two. Yeah, so. So uh, it's going to be around this area. Make a copy control G. So I add up to this area. So it's going to be something like this. I just want to add it to make it look great. Yeah. So for our text, I'm just going to copy. I know. So we come back to our text to the and draw a rectangle around this area and paste it so i'm just going to change it back to i think book austria then i'll turn off all caps i think one didn't come so let's drag it up or stay go for out mm -hmm. yes well, it's supposed to be like this. So, um, with a spacey 15 is quite okay. 15 is okay. Then I'm just going to push it this way so that I'll be able to add some bullets to it. So, I would bring my service down. So, I'll just put this one so that I can break and put down at the same time. So, I'm just going to keep it like this. Then for my bullets, in the, I'll come to my polygon, but this time change my size to 3. Then also come to this side and select few corners. So I'll be able to have... Okay, so it will really select what's going on. So I'm going to add something like this. Yes, so this is what I want to use for my bullet. So for the color, yeah, I'm going to use um, the new color writing for the text. So that it won't be different. So we have to paste this one. Okay. So I just drag it here. I think this okay. Let me drag it backwards a little. Okay, don't control J to make a copy. So we go. So I just select both. Hit on control J, then drag it down. Yes. Yeah, so we go. And then the last one. We are done. So now we come here and we are going to place the details of the company right into the rectangle. What? Right All right. So we will select uh, social media icon. But first of let's add this three first. Afterwards, uh, we add the location icon. So what I will do is I will mark all at once so that i would have one position then group it so select all then group so i would even group the bullets in and this one too so let's add all these ones that we know is for services let's so we are about to work on that rounded rectangle okay and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to Hit on control C. Scale it down. Yes. Uh, it's okay, I think so. The very first one needs to was up, so I'll just move the Instagram. That was. If the stuff there is nothing in the end, the drag was not to really down. Then drag Instagram down. Okay, so we will add another one that is um, the location. So uh, let's bring it here. I actually is a different page, and so I'll have to change the color. So that is not for the oh. So um, let's clean it down. Make sure it's 
same size with these ones so let's bring the dog in we change the color for this one so white actually i'm yeah i have white already i did have to dry it down here and i wanted to fill the rectangle so i hit on control t then just drag them upwards give some silk so now we have it so what we are going to do next is you just going to paste in the info so for the telephone number plus two three three yeah Ghanaian so Ghana's code that is too deep in each day so I'll just space out for this one but you know wait on okay then change the color to white because the thumb peep yes. Now for this reason, I'll use a straw book, which is quite okay. The hit on control G, drag it down to Facebook. So um, I lent the Facebook and Instagram using the same handle, like the same name. So I just have to copy and then I make a copy of the same thing. Just drag it here. Good. Then the last one is to bring in the location. So they are located here. Yeah. Actually, I don't know the place, so I won't even match the name. So we paste it and then. So as you can see, we got and our flyer is tiny and it's looking beautiful. Yes. So it was your boy DCC Graphics here taking you through steps and creating a social media flyer for a restaurant with food shop. Yeah. If you like this video, kindly of make sure like, share, then you send it to your friends to who are interested so that they will all be parts of this family so that we grow together and learn together. It's your boy Design graphics here and I'm out. Thank you.